Welcome everyone. My name is Kate Benedict and I am the Executive Director of Financial Beginnings Oregon. I'm here with Lori Williams, the Financial Education Officer from Unitas Community Credit Union. And we are so excited to be sharing a quick video with all of you today about entrepreneurship and the importance of budgeting. Welcome, Lori. Hi, Kate. Thanks for having me today. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, my first question. During the COVID era, we have learned so much about entrepreneurship and owning a small business. I'm curious what tips you have for people looking to strengthen or start a small business. Thanks for asking, Kate. I have three tips for today. But the first thing I wanna say is support local. All right, so here's my three tips. One, make sure that you join your Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce is designed for small business owners. It's a great place for small business owners to come together and network and grow together. Two, make sure that you contact your financial institution's business lending department. You are gonna need to get loans for your business as well as your personal life. And really, they're going to be great contacts for you to have and those relationships are gonna be invaluable. Three, this is one of my favorites. If you're currently in high school or you're in college, make sure that you take advantage of taking any business or entrepreneur classes. A really great example would be David Douglas has some uh, wonderful entrepreneur and business classes. And then to pair those classes, they have their own coffee shop within the high school. So the students take those entrepreneur and business classes and then they work in the coffee shop. So they're really able to get hands-on experience and take that into the workforce. Wow, that is what a useful program. Okay, so we know that people that are interested in starting a small business should draft a budget to start. Would that be the same as a personal budget? That's a great question. So often we talk about a budget, whether you write down monthly or you just think it through your head, this is what a budget is. A budget is taking our personal income minus our expenses over a certain period of time and then finding out at the end of it, is there a surplus or shortfall? So it's income minus expenses equals shortfall or surplus in a time period. Well, if you're gonna own a business and you're gonna be an entrepreneur, you also have to budget for your business. And we call that a profit and loss. It's also called a PL. And the PL is the financial statement for the business that also shows the income and the expenses over a certain period of time. And that's really important because your profit and loss, if you own your own business, that profit and loss is what the financial institutions are going to use for lending decisions. And your profit and loss for your business also is gonna carry over into your personal life and your personal budget. So your business is called a profit and loss, also known as a P&L. Wow, that is super helpful, Lori. I feel like you know anybody looking to strengthen or start a small business, it's such an important piece that a profit and loss is a really important part of that. Um, so thank you so much for sharing that information. And tune into our next video to see a really helpful example of a profit and loss statement. If you have any questions or comments for us, put them in the comments and stay tuned for our next video. Thanks so much for joining us.